Prior to selecting an order through a progress note using a procedure checklist, you must first configure the conditions through the database. To do so, go to Edit, System Tables, Conditions, Procedures. Type the description of what you're looking for, highlight the procedure once you find it, and click Properties. From within the Properties dialog, make sure the Type field is set to the correct option. For instance, Lab conditions would be set to Lab, and Radiology conditions would be set to Image. Next, make sure that the Track Order checkbox is selected. Lastly, if you perform this procedure in your office, you may want to select the In-House checkbox. The In-House checkbox determines how the order is reviewed. If an order is set up as in-house, the order is reviewed from the face sheet in the patient's chart. If the order is set up as off-site, the order is reviewed from the drop-down at the top of the chart. Once you're done configuring the properties for this condition, you can click Save. You would then repeat those steps for any additional procedures. After the conditions are set up properly, then you can add them to your template. Now let's go through the steps of how to order a procedure. From within a chart note, find your order procedures checklist and click the plus sign next to the procedure you'd want to order for this patient. From within the order procedure dialog, select any applicable information such as diagnoses, comments, or SNOMED codes, and then click OK. You will then see the order appear in your progress note, as well as receive a reminder on the face sheet and the to-do list of the ordering user. Initially, the order status will show as pending. At this point, we have completed all steps required to document our order. Now let's go through the steps of tracking the status of the order. The act of changing the order status is what gets you credit in the numerator for the meaningful use measures related to orders. The reminders for your orders will reside on your to-do list under the Orders tab. So we're going to start out by double-clicking on the reminder for the order. This will open the patient's chart, allowing you to modify the status. You do not need to have an unsigned note open in order to change a status. Changing the order status is completely independent of a progress note. If the order was set up as off-site, you will change the order status from the drop-downs at the top of the screen. If the order was set up as in-house, you will modify the status from the face sheet. The MRI that we selected was configured as off-site, so I will see the procedure in the order drop-down. After you select the order, you can then change the status. When you modify a status, you will see that change reflected on the face sheet and your to-do list as well. To modify the status of an in-house order, right-click on the order from the face sheet and select Review in-house order. From this dialog, you can change the order status and or document comments, which will eventually output in the auto-generated note. An auto-generated note is created with in-house orders once the status is changed to reviewed. Auto-generated notes are not created for off-site orders. Click Save when you're done. At this point, we have changed the status of the order, so we will receive credit in the numerator for this order for any applicable meaningful use measures. Remember, the reminders on the patient's face sheet and your to-do list will go away once you change the status to reviewed. Now, besides changing the order status from within the patient's chart, you can also change the status when you are filing a scan document through the Scan Management dialog, which is located under the Chart Scan Documents menu. After you select the patient, if they have an outstanding order, you will see it in the drop-down, and you will have the ability to change the status as well. 
you will only have the ability to modify the order status for off-site orders through this dialog. In-house orders must be reviewed from within the chart.